Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, I haven't made a video for a little bit here. I uh, ended up in the hospital there with a appendix attack. So, got that cut out of me, so I've been kind of slow moving here the last week or so, but I'm back at her again here now. The last couple days I've been out and about again. So, uh, I'll make a video, show you what's going on. The few people are asking if I could do a little bit better of a walk around of the uh, air seeder since that last one I kind of cut it a bit short because it's pretty goddamn cold out that day but thought I'd start off in here you can see what I picked up the other day bought a, another engine for another tractor that I don't really need but I've got a thing for those old 5010 5020s and uh, out behind the shop here We'll walk over and take a look in a few minutes. We've got an old 5010 that the motor's fucked in. And I found this in uh, 5020 that was wrecked. So it's the, the newer version of the 531, the better ones, and better injectors, and they a bit better of a block. They don't crack between the veins there in between your sleeves as bad as the other ones do. They're the 5010s there, and they don't have uh, head gasket issues quite as bad either. So that's going to be this winter's project, rebuild that and get that 5010 running again and then we'll have 5010, 5020 that way here. Have a real pretty line up that way. <laughs> but anyway, I'll apologize right now if there's a bit of wind noise in this video. There's, it's a bit breezy out, I'll try to stay in the shade, or in the shade, in the, in the, whatever, out of the wind anyway. Shouldn't be too bad, there's just gusts, but. If you got headphones in, you might want to take them out if there's wind noise. <laughs> but anyway, I've got the 895 all souped up and hooked up here. I bought uh, some HID lights like what are on the 4440. And I've got them all over it here now. And I clicked them on the other night there. And it's going to be easy making YouTube videos in the dark with those lights, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Um, still working on putting in the new seat that I bought for it. Because that air ride was pooched. So I just bought a normal uh, spring suspension seat from good old PV Mart. Be just as good as anything, but I've got the monitors in. Get my milk crate here so I can sit down and talk for a few minutes. Got monitors in and... Uh, had to do a little bit of dicking around yesterday with the air seeder one. It was saying uh, no remotes installed. So I did all, all morning anyway. Phoning around different uh, dealerships and whatnot. Trying to find a little bit of information about what could be causing that. And uh, they gave us a whole bunch of different things to try. And of course none of them worked. And it ended up, uh, we were zip tying the harness down on the cultivator out there and Antoine kind of noticed a pinched spot and opened it up and lo and behold we had two broken wires so hooked them up well isn't that interesting oh I know why wait a minute Antoine took the fuse out because it didn't want to shut off last night because it's got the auto uh, Shuts off on its own and For some reason it wasn't shutting off Bear with me here There she is <laughs> So we've got two alarms going off yet. Yeah, we know anyway that's why the fuse got pulled out. Anyways, you see it works. But uh, two alarms going off. It says the clutches are shorted. And I'll show you on that tank. It's got, like you've got one, two, three tanks. And then a master clutch. And each one of those tanks has a clutch as well. So you can be seating and uh, <clears throat> say, I don't know really, but... 
you can shut one off or two off or for whatever kind of application you might be doing. Maybe you don't have anything in that tank, but you do in these two, so you can have them on and then that one's meter's not turning or if you're at the end of your year for seeding and you've just got some fertilizer left over, well, shut it all off and empty your fertilizer out or maybe vice versa, get your seed out. But it's saying that uh, two and three, the clutches are shorted out. And I don't know why it's saying that because yesterday when we were testing things, I was standing there and Antoine flipped the switches and everything clunked. So they're engaging and they're disengaging. Everything's working as it should. So not totally sure what's going on with that, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Here's our switch for the anhydrous. I can hear it whirring away out there on the elevator, so it works. And uh, I've got to do a little bit of adjusting on this yet. Try to remember how to do this. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Camera one. There we go. You can see that uh, you can only see up to the edge of the casters, eh? You can't see the rest of the elevator. And I'll show you where I've got the camera mounted at. I'm going to have to raise it up a little bit more, I guess, and see if I can see it better kind of disappointing as I had of it in a really nice place but I uh, guess it's not high enough so it is what it is I guess eh other thing I've got to do I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of a proportion or a, yeah proportionator valve but I need one to run my uh, fan <laughs> see it's got case drain and you can see laying up there there's another hose that's a return there's supposed to be a pressure line and then that valve and that's how you run your uh, fan on your card I tried just hooking it up to the normal remotes here and turned it on with number four the fourth hydraulic and that's the one that gets uh, priority with the fan running couldn't lift the elevator so I'm going to have to try to make something there. I'll let you know how that turns out. We'll figure something out though. I've got one of those valves on the 835, so worst case scenario, I just take it off of there and they'll have to share one. But Got our nice uh, new beacon lights on here. This elevator never had one. And then our double casters, as I was talking about in that other video. So the elevator is almost done. We've got a few openers we got to change, tips and whatnot. And uh, I think there's one hose we've got to change, one one seed run. That's it for the elevator. Grease it and it's good to go. The tank we've got work yet though. We're gonna be at that for a little while yet, but not too long. See our invention we had to make our one inch that runs the fan converted down to half and then two new lines because this elevator never had hookups for something like that with the old tank it just used this hookup here but this hookup we're now using it for the auger because the auger on the other one was tied into the fan you shut the fan off and it ran the auger so we've got a few new things we've made there should work good got all of our plugins hooked up the only thing we have left to hook up is the uh, beacon lights on the tank but we've got to make something on the tractor yet for that too so we'll get to that that's one of the less priorities there <laughs> but uh, we'll get to her when we get to her but anyway I'll do a little walk around of this tank that you guys kind of wanted there's my camera mounted there. I've got a real nice bracket I made for it and everything, but note that's no good there, I guess. So I'm gonna have to try to move it up. Hopefully up there it'll be good. Anyway, it's got some nice 22 and a half 16 ones on there. Those are gonna be real cheap to change if we ever have to do one. So hopefully we never see the end of them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a six run unit before. Had six of these two inch hoses because it was 60 feet before that this tank was on. And now that we're just 33, we only need four, if that makes sense. 
because it's supposed to be 10 feet for each one but this one has four manifolds on it just so you don't have so many hoses coming out of three kind of splits it up a little bit more so works out good like that and then you don't have so much of your you don't have uneven on your seed run that way blocked off because uh I don't know if you guys are familiar with these rollers or not. I don't have one laying out here. One in the shop, I'll show you here in a few minutes, I guess, so you see what I'm talking about. But then it's not uneven. I'll explain it more when we're looking at it. But Our uh, nice 10-inch auger here will make life pretty easy loading up that fucking 450 bushel tank. Holds a whole, more than the 3-ton does. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a line blowing out here on our auger, though, yet. We already changed this one that was no good, but now one of these big ones is leaking up there. And of course it runs all the way down, around, up, in through there, all the way back to the hitch. That's going to be a $600 hose. So I'm hoping we can just cut a chunk out and splice in like male ends and just thread in a new piece. I don't see why we can't. But it's going to be a job getting it out there regardless, but come around to the back here we've got a nice fucking really heavy hitch <laughs> we've got to mount our winch on here yet that we use to pull the anhydrous tank up and uh, get the anhydrous uh, the hookup and everything on here there's a big hose and whatnot obviously so the anhydrous can get to the elevator but all there is to look at back here I'll show you this metering system you can see we've got the three meters and then one main clutch back there and then there's a clutch on each one of them so it's saying that these two here are shorted even though you can hear it clunk 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 when you flip the switch so i'm thinking there's a i don't know maybe a poor ground and it's thinking it's shorted out maybe i don't know i have to do a little bit of testing but and uh we gotta lower down these manifolds yet and clean clean them up and then adapt them down from six run to four like i was saying we've got a bit of work to do you can see there's they're kind of gross looking i mean it looks worse than what it is that's just kind of the paint looks bad like that it's kind of hard to dig it out but we'll clean it up and get some new strip foam in there and get everything good and airtight and sealed up and uh we should be laughing but get up on the tank here and take a little look around up here is where we're probably going to get the wind noise i think because we're not going to be in the shelter of the old wood bins there but single big fan on this tank it's not a dual fan or anything which is kind of uncommon on these tanks i've been told but it's fine by me because we're going to have a hard, a hard enough time just running the one of them without an atom jet extra hydraulic kit on the tractor so fine by me that it's only one fan there's the little camera and i have to try to move them up here or something so not a big deal three lids for three hoppers pretty nice tank compared to what i've been used to the last few years poly tank you can see down in there where that roller is Got to get that all opened up, clean them out a little bit, but won't be a big deal, I don't think. A little bit of work, like usual, but not too bad. Good view from up here, anyway. Sprayer's all ready to roll. We got our GPS mounted in it. Take a video of it and some other day. 700. Anyone's looking for a tractor for sale, I'm not really sure what to do with it now. <laughs> Since I bought the 895, the 835 will probably be on the elevator, but whatever, it's around. I might put it on the P-roller, but the more likely one for the P-roller is that green guy right there. Got the uh, seal in that hydraulic pump changed, and 1086 has its TA delete in it, so she's ready to rock too, but anyway. The spring has finally sprung around here anyway, so we were seeding on the 7th of May last year. And I don't think that, well, you know, we might be this year again too. 
I hope so because we've got last year we only had uh, 750 acres just draw well, it's a long story I'll get into it some other day when I need something to ramble on about but land that was rented out and the contracts are up so now we have it back again to ourselves so that's hence the bigger tank bigger tractor bigger everything but uh, yeah I'll show you that roller there's our winch we got to put on yet the valves and then the anhydrous but not a big deal there's like five bolts and three hoses the hardest part's going to be uh, finding a way to tie that into the hydraulics finding a place that we can rob it from probably from the auger I'm thinking but we'll come up with something anyway here's one of those rollers I was telling you about this is a spare one but you can see 10 20 30 40 50 all the way up there this was 80 feet the ones we have have these blockers in it that block two now we got a block that many more off to make it four so see there's one two three four so it should work out all right anyway but anyway if you like what you saw hit that like button and subscribe for more we'll see you in the next one <laughs>